Sub YouTube, welcome back to another video documenting my journey to legend. I've never hit legend before and I'm hoping to do so for the first time this season. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Before we get started with the battles, I want to give a huge shout out, a stack shout out to the following people. Someone who's definitely friends with the Joker, Mass Chaos. I'm an agent of chaos. Blue Z Dolphin, who like me has never hit legend. I hope you make that climb, man. And the last three people who have their own YouTube channel, Omega Cube, who sounds like he's a fan of Optimus Prime. He does pogo content. His last video was really funny. You should go check it out. Late Sun Plays, who does Minecraft content. And Baruch Salgado, who also does Pokemon Go content, as well as just general Pokemon content. Thank you guys so much for your support on the channel. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot. Let's get on with these battles. So we're rocking Snorlax lead with uh, Machamp and Metagross in the back. No particular safe swap, uh, but I was seeing a lot of Excadrill leads, a lot of Gary leads and a lot of Dragonite leads. So this just seemed like the safest bet. As you can see on the right, I'm powering up these mons for the first time. And I didn't have any of these guys at level 40. I mean, I don't have any level 50s, you know, like they want me to, they want me to play open massively. That, that ain't happening. Um, but we're powering up my one and only Shundo Machamp. And then we have one of my few shadow hundos uh, in back. It took me a, a minute to decide if I wanted to power this thing up or not. Uh, first, I had to uh, put some rare candies into it, which kind of sucked, but I, I do have a ton of rare candies. And then you can see me going back and forth with like how much dust I'm about to spend. So I'm like really contemplating this. I think I check one more time. Uh, this first battle is, is a pretty straightforward, not win, but just like some misplays that my opponent did like allowing me to get to this uh, Meteor Mash. And now I can come in with um, a champ. I I make a mistake here. I shouldn't have shielded this. Um, and they bring in Excadrill. They're going to shield. I'm going to barely survive a drill run here. Um, the reason I'm not running Swampert is because just everything that I was seeing, Swampert wasn't a good response. It just didn't have enough bulk. So I ended up building that. Fatso, my hundo Snorlax. Again, Gary lead, right? So this is pretty much exactly where you want to see it. And it's running Waterfall, Dragon Breath. It's really all the same. I haven't noticed a big difference. Mine isn't a best buddy. It doesn't look like their Gary is a best buddy. So we're not reaching those breakpoints, that lick breakpoint. Um, I'm just going straight body slam. I am running Outrage on it. One, because I kind of ran out of TMs again. <laughs> and two, uh, because I kind of wanted to try it out. I was seeing a lot of uh, Dragonite leads and I felt like a coming, coming clutch. Yeah, there's a lot of Excadrill leads, but Excadrill loves to shield, especially if you're building up. So I wasn't too, too worried about not having superpower on it. Um, plus, I could soft lose that and maybe bring in either Machamp or Metagross to farm down. Here's that Excadrill. I take way too long to decide to swap so I make the catch luckily for me they did build up and they have a floor just in the back and as you can see I'm running payback on this right now eventually I do TM over to a rock type move I won't say which um, but it was uh, it was causing me a lot of issues especially when I ran into Pokemon like this so I try to you know call it um, they do go for the moon blast which is optimal now they can just go for the storming voice like i have to shield and there's 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 nothing i can really do i can try to bait but i don't think i'm gonna reach uh the earthquake yeah i just barely don't get there um so maybe had i shielded that moon blast and taken a disarming voice instead we would have had a shot here's a, Gar a dragonite lead this one's best buddy i'm not sure what the bulk points or break points are with the best budding somebody asked me in the comments i'm not that guy you know, I'm, I'm clearly trying to get to Legend for the first time. But here is where <laughs> Outrage comes in clutch. You lose this anyway, right? Like in the zeros, you're still going to lose. Unless I was a, a, a Shadow. Um, but I do shield. And then here I take way too long to decide to come into anything. Luckily for me, they don't build up. They just throw. throw probably suspecting I was a, some madman running Superpower and Outrage. Which I did have at one point if you saw in the, uh, the video. I was so tempted to leave it, but I was like, nah, I need the coverage. Uh, like a, a charmer lead would just would just destroy me. Um, so I come back in with my champ. I have a pretty decent amount of energy. I tacked, I tanked a drill run. They have Metagross, and I think I here I make another mistake if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe not. Um, well, I, yeah, I don't particularly make a mistake here. They do shield. They give me back a shield. They're a little ahead of an, on energy, and I know people like baiting, <laughs> so I try to call it, and I get 
one shot out of existence. Um, my ELO tanked a little bit, so I'm sitting at 2600. I think this is when I finally TM'd my champ over. Maybe. Um, but yeah, floor just lead. You know, this is pretty solid, right, for, for Snorlax. I think Snorlax wins this in the zeros. I will eventually work on building this up to best buddy. Um, the reason I was running the initial team was because Metagross, Machamp, and Swampert are three Pokemon that I love. And I like playing this game, but I really like playing with Mons that I want to be using. Snorlax isn't really one of those Pokemon, but he is the safest in this meta. Uh, so we have pretty good alignment here. They beat me to a move. And because they're not swapping out, I shield. And that was maybe a mistake. If you noticed, I'm running Stone Edge. I, I used up all my TMs. I didn't get Rock Slide. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I'm going to put Stone Edge on this thing. It's a Shundo. I have another Hundo Machamp if I ever do want to run Rock Slide. But I was like, let's just do it, bro. Um, so we put Rock Slide, uh, Stone Edge on it. I don't think I'm able to use it in any of these matches. But it might come in as a nice surprise. Because Rock Slide doesn't KO the uh, Flyers. None of the Flyers. Uh, I mean, unless you're running Charizard. Like a madman. Um, here I force them to use their last shield if they want to get off this energy and they're going to come back in with Snorlax I think I build up to just before they reach their next body slam and I'm able to take them out and I'm able to reach this in time I think I would have survived one more waterfall but lucky for me I didn't have to find out um, here we're going up against a Metagross so this is a pretty solid lead and I make a bit of a blunder here I bring in Metagross um, instead of bringing Machamp because I think I would have lost that matchup anyway. And I didn't really want to have my Metagross on theirs. I can survive one uh, cross job. They did build up to the payback, but I was just daring them. And here I think I make another mistake because I'm at the next one. Yeah, we see MP tie here. And so now they can choose to let this go and come in with their Metagross and farm down. And this is a pretty bad... Yeah, you see me try to swap into Snorlax there. This is a pretty bad head start on energy. But I, I'm feeling okay. And here I make my next blunder. Either one... I, I saw what came in. I should have built up to the Outrage and thrown the Outrage and then came in. But now they can just farm me down and I'm not going to reach that next Outrage. So this was a huge mistake. And then once I do come in with Machamp, they have a ton of energy. And I, I didn't call the bait. Right, and then at this point they can farm up to seven, and I, I just lose, so I uh, I quit out of that. So that was a just really poor misplay on my part. Here's another uh, Dragonite lead, not best buddy, so I don't know if there's a break point or not. I'm building up to the back to back, and then going for the outrage, just because you know, like I figure, build up as much energy. I think this one does go for the superpower. Yeah, and we barely survive that, so in the zeros we lose, right? But I was okay with this. I'm like, all right, I'm going to come in with my champ. And lucky for me, they bring in a freaking Snorlax. So now I can just build up. Go for a back-to-back -back cross chops. I think I'm going to stay in this and build up a little more. Um, they let me get to it. So now they're going to shield, I believe. And that's why I come in with Metagross. Because now they have to go for the superpower. I shield the first one just, you know, expecting it. Uh, correctly shield it here. The second one doesn't do as much damage, so I can let it through. And what do they have in the back? but their own metagross i think there's mine isn't a hundo um so there's a little lower than mine i go straight for the earthquake because i'm way ahead on energy now i know that i can survive uh a meteor mash but i shield it anyway because they didn't build up to it and i think they tried to make a catch but they weren't anywhere near it um probably expecting me to go for the meteor mash uh, and we managed to take that win Slowly climbing. Uh, this is a pretty solid team. I want to try it again and see if I can climb higher with it because it, it feels like everything I was seeing, Snorlax could either win or soft lose. And then I could come in with a back mon and farm it down. And it was working out pretty, pretty well. I think I'm at like 26, 15 now. Uh, this Gary is best buddy, but it's not running Dragon Breath. Um, but I think the break point is on Lick. Uh, they come in with the Excadrill. I'm much quicker to the swap this time. Uh, I come in with my Shundo Machamp. Oh, man, I'm so happy I built that, built that up. It's the only one I have. I've been trying to get some other ones, but um, I know a lot of people hate this shiny because it's like green and ugly looking. I love this. I love this uh, this shiny. 
Um, they take me out. I suspected that they would have another response to Machamp in the back. And I think they do. So I just come in with Snorlax. I throw the body slam before they reach their next drill run. Just to see what they want to do. And they come in with the Metagross. And as soon as I see that, I swap out. Um, they, I believe, yeah, they go straight Earthquake. I didn't feel like, I was too traumatized from that last battle. I didn't feel like calling it. And uh, now I am expecting a catch from their side. They didn't build up, so I let that through. I'm just waiting for the catch. I need a throw because I don't want to take any of these uh, this waterfall damage. And now I just need to build up to the Earthquake. They win CMP, which uh, I think, I mean, we're both best buddies, so I think they're, they're probably rocking the Hundo. I'm not sure what the Hundo, I, uh, Hundo CP is on Metagross. And we managed to take that win. And so in the two sets that I did with this team, I think I went 3-2, three, 3-2. Two, three, two. Uh, there was a couple of spots where I might have been able to clutch out a 4-1, but, you know, a couple misplays, not being familiar with this team. I don't play Master League. I, I am so inept when it comes to Master League. There is not a chance in hell that I'm going to play uh, the XL uh, Open Master, especially not at the level I'm at now. I think I'm level 45, so I want to get to the level where you have to power up three months to level 50, and then maybe I'll consider it. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed these battles. Hope you enjoyed the team. Definitely try to rock it if you're running into similar Pokemon. I felt like this was pretty safe. It's not like, you know, you're not going to break the meta, but it is like, I think, a solid team enough to help you climb. And I'll catch you in that next video. Peace.